What's going on everyone, we're watching the YouTube video. And we're back today with a crypto news video so that you guys are all on top of it and you see where the main media is actually trying to portray Bitcoin going up or down. So right now you can see the major news headline is Bitcoin is off to its worst annual start since the dawn of crypto. This is obviously since Christmas, everyone was predicting the Santa pump to happen. But obviously we literally yesterday dipped below 40k. So if you have been paying attention to my videos, you know that below 40k is a neckline of the daily head and shoulders, which is playing out. If you guys don't know what that is, then you can check the video previously, which I did this morning on Litecoin and Bitcoin, two separate videos, if you guys are interested in that. But you can see here, the original cryptocurrency bounced off the lows of the day after falling as much as 6% to 39,700 in New York trading, bringing its loss this year to about 14%. So in December, the highs of Bitcoin was about 60 to 70, just under 70. And now it's down all the way at 39. It's currently trading at about 42,000. So I think it could, there's much more downside to come, but it definitely could come a lot higher as well at the same time. You can see here on the Crypto Fear and Greed Index, usually when everything's extremely fearful, we usually do see a big pump. For crypto and then obviously all the FOMO starts kicking and usually a good time to actually get out of the market is when there's extreme greed in the market so as you can see on this greed index over here which I'm zooming into when it goes to the green um, you, you basically want to start taking your profits and start getting out of the market because that's when everyone's FOMOing to the market all the retail traders are getting in all the average traders like you and me are pumping into the market because they don't want to miss out on the pump and then typically all the major institutions and billionaires hedge funds start to sell and get out of their trades so typically now that we are in extreme fear we haven't seen these um does it show us the it should show us the um, fear and greed so typically the last time we actually saw this um anything this low was well, let me go to one year's time you can see that we were here below in just to the start of summer when we had that massive dip and then we pumped all the way to obviously a very high greed scale of 72. So you can see that typically in these regions that we're currently in, we usually do see a pump afterwards. If we go to the max, you'll see it even more. Usually whenever in, in these points, you see a decent pump upwards. So typically, um, a lot of you are probably thinking, do you buy in or do you get out? Right now, I'm dollar cost averaging my way into cryptocurrencies, not particularly Bitcoin, but mainly Litecoin and a few other metaverse projects because I feel like 2022 is when NFTs and things can start kicking off. As you can see, the tabs open are Blocktopia, NFT, the Sandbox, um, things like that. But obviously, if you are interested in those videos, subscribe and like. But on to the next one is here. So looking ugly, crypto market crash intensifies after $300, $300 billion sell-off. How low can Bitcoin prices go? So obviously, all the main media is actually portraying Bitcoin to crash. So when we at when we at 64, 67k, I was the only one saying that Bitcoin's gonna start coming down, whereas the media was saying we're gonna to go to 100k this year by before Christmas. So this is not what you want to see really, because usually when the media is actually thinking everything's gonna crash, the odd the odd major investors actually know that it's gonna go up. Because you can do the opposite. You guys must have heard buy the rumor, sell the news. So if the news are actually portraying Bitcoin to go down, typically it will go up. And with the fear and greed index matching it in fearful, we actually are could be looking for a big pump. Um, this could be seen here. So there's a billionaire investor who just called the Bitcoin bottom after a one trillion dollar crypto price crash, which tanked top cryptocurrencies like Ethereum, BNB, Solana, Cardano, XRP, and a lot more, of course. But they're just the main ones that people are attracted to, people are investing in, and they're they're, they're the current hype altcoins. So here, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency prices have dropped sharply over the last week, with the combined crypto market now down around $1 trillion from its November peak. The Bitcoin price has fallen around 10% since the beginning of 2022, crashing towards $40,000 from highs of almost $70,000 late last year. So that's about November, December time. Meanwhile, other major cryptocurrencies, Ethereum, Binance, BNB, Solana, Cardano and XRP have also crashed. That's obviously because Bitcoin usually... usually trend where it goes and ethereum follows after and then after ethereum all the altcoins start to follow so whatever ethereum pumps i usually look into the other cryptocurrencies which are gonna have a delayed reaction just like litecoin does but that's it for today i do actually think that bitcoin will probably start trending upwards very slightly and then have a bigger pullback to try and liquidate all the long positions out of the market so if you are interested in that, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss a single video and you stay up to date on the crypto news and analysis for the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.